Hi everyone and welcome to my Facebook live stream on Easter Monday evening. I hope you had a chance to enjoy it, although it wasn't the usual Easter, but I must tell you I enjoy it even though I stayed home all weekend. I was with only with my uh, only with my boys, but I really like it. I really, really appreciate this time together and we are all healthy. The weather was amazing, so I can't really uh, complain. So uh, for you who are new here, this is one of my two live streams which I'm doing every week and there is one tonight here on Facebook at 7 and when we are when I'm showing you the endless possibilities of your home skincare and then there is another one on Instagram again the same time 7 p.m. in the evening and this is the beauty community networking where we professionals are exchanging our knowledge with each other and um, sharing our sharing our experiences with each other so Tonight, what I would like to do is I would like to show you your home body care and how to you can maintain how you can maintain your body very easily at home while we are in this lockdown. So um, with with your body, so I will be actually uh, uploading a video straight after I will uh, I will. Um, finish this live, I will be uploading a video where I will be showing you my Sunday self-care routine. And in this video, I will be incorporating loads of things which I will be showing you tonight as well. But it will be um, like, it will be a recap of what we will be doing tonight. Although this live will be uploaded to YouTube as well. Anyway, tonight, home body skincare routine. Um, so as my friend is saying, um, our body is our temple and uh, although it's our temple very often we do not appreciate as much as we should and we would for example uh, buy very expensive products for our face very expensive creams very expensive serums but when it comes to our body we are like oh yeah this shower gel will do or this body lotion will do uh, two pounds fine it will do but then you would you shouldn't be expecting the same results as you are um, as you are having with your like expensive skincare but today is not about being expensive i will show you very cheap options as well which actually work so um before I even start talking about beauty products, I have to tell you that there is no one magical beauty product or magical beauty machine which make you slim and smooth and lifted and sculpted because there is nothing like this um, on the market now. Unfortunately, I wish it was, but unfortunately there is nothing. You have to work for it and in order to get that desired body you want I'm not talking about sizes now but what you would be happy with you have to work for it and you have to incorporate a few different aspects of your life together um, combine them together in order to get the body which you want the body which you are proud of and uh, if you would like to hear more about it I'm actually talking about it again in my one of my YouTube videos when we are talking about New Year's uh, uh, New Year's resolutions and that's where uh, the founder and the owner of Jumping she's the Monica she's talking about all the tips and tricks about um, having that healthy uh, body and also mind anyway but um, now with this uh, with with this what i'm talking about now the home body care you have to incorporate things like healthy lifestyle which means balanced diet and exercise good body products and little body treatments and then when they combine together then they work the best if you exclude one of them the result won't be as great but i'm not here to tell you about the diet obviously Yes, I'm not the best example for it or I'm not here to tell you what kind of exercise you should be doing. I am here to show you a few very simple uh, body procedures which you can do at home and they will really help to maintain beautiful body. So, um, let's, so, you, uh, so let's start with um, exercise. I always like to do a little bit of exercise before I will start my body care routine 
Why? Because exercise, they will stimulate your muscles, they will make that blood flow going uh, much better than it was before the exercise, and then all the products and all the procedures which you will be applying after, they will work even better. So do a little, like even 15 minutes, a little workout, little cart, you just move yourself a little bit before you start any body procedures. Okay, and then I usually start it's good to start with a nice scrap of the body scrap and there are two different types of scrap there is one scrap which you can do bef even before you go into the shower or into bath whatever you whichever you prefer or there is another scrap which you do in the shower or in the bath and I will be talking now about dry brushing oldie but goodie dry brushing it really works that's why it is with us forever and for this you can either use a very simple meat and actually I got my at Tesco's it was like five pounds maybe or you can get yourself a dry brush and I went for a very simple dry brush it was like on Amazon eight pounds or something you can always go for the fancy one for like 40 pounds for example but it does the same job it's the same concept then at the end so with dry brushing you do it before preferably before you had a shower or you had a bath and with dry brushing uh, it's um, I like to dry brush my whole body it's great if you could do it every day but even if you do it once a week it's still good so you dry brush your whole body always upwards towards your heart and then you dry your uh, the whole hands then that's why I have this long handle here so I can go on my back I do across my chest my belly my bum my thighs and then also my feet very good natural uh, natural uh, sort of exfoliation um, what is great as well do it on your tights and on your bum cheeks that really works really fights the cell light there and really makes the other products which you apply after work deeper and better so i always recommend having this uh, this dry brushing before i like to do one area for like at least maybe 20 30 seconds it shouldn't hurt it might be funny feeling because it's quite an intense feeling to begin with but once you get it, get used to it you will get the grab grasp grabs of it and then you will you will be quite um quite okay with it obviously you can take this hand head off but actually i work it as it goes uh, with my with my body always remember upwards towards the heart area okay so that's your dry brushing so you have your body obviously exfoliated let's say and then you will be taking your shower or your bath and then again uh, what you use in your bath or the shower uh, you can do like multitasking you can use multitasking products and I personally I like to use in the shower uh, bath or shower oils and I have here the Aveda one, uh, sorry the Belenda one this is the Polish brand but you can easily get it in England uh, as well on Amazon or eBay very good very up affordable product and it has it will the, we will wash your body as well as it will moisturize it because it has an oil I still have to use a lotion after because the moisture it's it's not enough uh, but it will give you some kind of moisture so this is a very good one and then another one which I really like to use in a bath is Aveda and Ave any Aveda uh, hand and body washes they are really good uh, because they have loads of essential oils they have very good base on them there is no par parabens there is no SLS inside so um, sherry almond this is actually what I'm using at the moment in the bath it has little pump which I like as well as you can see I am using those with pumps much easier than just taking it like this and then it ends up on in a whole bathtub uh, so I really recommend those when you bath with this it really lathers very nicely obviously the smell is amazing because it's natural oils but it really lathers nicely on your skin it gives you nice soft smooth 
um, supple uh, finish on your skin. Okay, and then you washed your body, let's say, and then we need your we need to do, you can do a dry brush or you can do a proper uh, body scrub at home and uh, in your bath or in the shower and I don't know why people when they're thinking about body scrubs they do only body scrubs when they go to the spa as a treat I personally recommend to do body scrub at least once a week uh, if not twice a week I personally do it once a week uh, during my Sunday self-care routines um, but I really really make sure that I will scrub the whole body you scrubbing your face why wouldn't you scrub or exfoliate your body and I will show you a few different options here when it comes to body scrub and this is the body scrub that you can get yourself first of all the ready-made body scrub and this is one which I like the most this is the radiant polish one um, from Aveda it is it has again the crystal base so mineral based crystals and then the oils on top so when you are doing your body scrub you are actually moisturizing and nourishing your body you have as well beautiful smell to it you have lavender rosemary bergamot so it smells amazing and then I also recommend to do it after for my clients after they wax their body so let's say uh, there I have a client who uh, wax their body let's say we have a gentleman and they wax their chest uh, or they wax their back um, and uh, I would recommend them to have this kind of scrub two days after they, uh, the waxing which will minimize the ingrown hair minimize the inflammation and you getting really of that strawberry skin effect uh, especially on your uh, legs uh, if you wax you know what I mean but even if you shave and if you are a razor girl uh, you know what I mean when it comes to those raspberry strawberry legs effect so very good to do your body scrub two weeks two days after you waxed or you you shaved yourself really good to do it so men uh, women all, um, and it uh, I, um, doesn't matter they can use the body scrubs so this one is the ready-made but now let's move to the homemade body scrubs because you can very easily make yourself a beautiful scrub at home and it's ever so easy I will show you a few different options but then on this video which I was talking to you about um, before on the YouTube channel which we I will be uploading tonight I will show you even few more options how you can make uh, from even more ingredients uh, at home and I'm pretty sure you all have it in the kitchen at least one so let's start with using salts so you can use any salt you have at home you can have you have your dead sea salts let's say yes soaking salts for the bath you might have them or I personally I love the Aveda stress fix soaking salts I use them in my bath I use one scoop of them and I put them in my bath so they will already make your body really um, really soft and moisture and then those but you can also make yourself a scrub with them so just use them in a few different ways don't waste the product you can use them like this so you take your soaking scrubs let's say let me know if you can see it if i'm putting it here on the desktop so you take your soaking salts and then you take any body lotion you have at home I mean everyone has some kind of body lotions so let's take the again Aveda sherry almond doesn't matter you take your body lotion so you take your salt and then you take a little bit of body lotion mix it together and there you go you have your scrub ready it's beautiful it will moisturize it will be softening your skin but it will also give you the moisture from your body lotion very easy and i'm pretty sure you both have those uh, you have those things at home already but then if you don't have a body lotion you are not the lotion person then use any oil you have at home it can even be an olive oil really anything you have at home body uh, salts plus uh, body lotion on or an oil first option of the body scrub obviously you make a bit more than I did I'm just doing I'm just doing you samples so I just want to show you how easy it is to make it and then another thing 
um, coffee lovers will like it because whoever likes coffee scraps that will be good one so you have your coffee uh, whichever coffee you're using you it can be espresso cup or, or blend blend one i don't like to use fresh coffee beans because obviously first i want to drink this coffee and then have my beautiful scrap so you take your coffee here you have your coffee here so you take again a bit big probably a bit bigger um, a bit bigger uh, bowl you take your coffee here i'm just gonna show you a little bit like so and then again you will mix it with any oil you like so it can be an olive oil it can be oil which i was showing you in last video like bio oil anything i will be actually using the lme's green tea um, seed oil and you mix it with your coffee beans you just mix it obviously you might add as much uh, oil as you like you need to like the texture don't make it too liquidy because it will be there everywhere with coffee scrap you might be you might need to wash the bathtub after but it's a very good one and that's it that's it you have your body scrap ready and obviously if you want to uh, pamper it up a little bit you can add two or three drops of any essential oils you like and then you have your body scrap ladies and gentlemen beautiful and it will we it's really invigorating it will really wake you up uh, so uh, when it comes to coffee scraps i would be probably uh, doing them more towards the morning than the evening uh, because it can go a little bit into your bloodstream so you might be uh, you might be doing your coffee scraps um, rather in the morning but really easy easy to to do so just two ingredients done and then you can also use if you don't have those soaking salts at home you can also use salt i preferably use himalayan salt obviously because this is the salt which i'm using at home and that's it you just have a little bit of salt add your oil to it done thank you very much you have another body scrap ready and then okay uh, you don't have those things let's say sugar uh, any sugar you have at home it can be cane sugar I use the organic coconut sugar sugar mix with your oil there you go you have your an, another of the body scraps so very easy to make you can mix you can mix sugar with coffee or salt with sugar whatever you like whatever you prefer and then really massage your body in and then because you use the oil with it then your body will be nice and smooth and moisturized so really great um, great results when you're using those so definitely recommend either a ready-made one or you can make yourself a simply at home one from two ingredients and um, as i said you can add some essential oils whatever you like uh, to to add and then okay we moisturize you know we we had our bath uh, we have we uh, we scrubbed our body it's nice and soft and smooth if you were using those body scrubs with with oil probably your body is moisturized enough but if you want to add some extra bits of moisturization then you would like to add some uh, some beauty products and let me tell you some about some of them because we have few different groups of uh, products which you can apply on your body after the bath or shower so start let's start with an oil because we are in the oil theme now so oil a beautiful product to apply uh, on your body uh, and how I actually like to apply my body oils in or in order for them to sink into my skin quicker I will have my shower I do not dry my body I might just pat it a little bit so I'm you know the, the water is not dripping all over and I will put an oil on my uh, wet body on my soaked body that's when the oil will work even better it will sink deeper into your skin remember that you are after warm hot, warm or hot shower or bath the pores are open the body is nicely exfoliated so this oil put on soaked wet skin 
will work wonders and then what I like to do because obviously you need to add you need to give it a few mom moments to sink in because you will be sliding a little bit then I would probably brush my teeth do my like skincare routine at uh, you know uh, in the meantime and then by this time like five six minutes when you put your dressing gown on back on it will be fine and your body will be moistured even for like couple next days so uh, you will you will feel that you will see and uh, see and feel the difference in your body but let's say you are not an oil all over yes okay let's go with body butters and actually I don't have any to show you tonight sorry because I sold out all of them but uh, body butters they are mainly based on shea butter or mango butter or cocoa butter those are those thick formulas i like them but the only thing with body butters is that you have to wait a little bit longer until they will sink in and you still feel that feel that film on the skin even after an hour or so so i much more prepared body lotions and um i will show you a few body lotions I'm sorry there will be a few of them I mean I'm not gonna even show you all of them because the amount of body lotions I have is just shameful so I will just show you a few okay so first of all if you are if you are a little bit on the lazy side you can buy you can get yourself a lotion which you use under the shower so basically you just put it on and after you washed your uh, washed your body with the body uh, body gel or whatever and then shower gel and then you put the lotion which you put on in the in the shower uh, on your body and just rinse it off straight away i like this nivea one very simple i just got it i got it in poland but very simple very easy very quick uh, option to do when you are in rush or you just can't be bothered but then we have body lotions and let me show uh, let me tell you a little bit about those body lotions which i like i've picked the ones which i actually like so i will just go in in no order okay let's start with the aveda ones so uh, i mean i love aveda because this they, this is natural this all smell amazing so you have few different options i have shampoo which is the standard aveda smell beautiful young young smell here then you have stress fix uh, aroma proven to reduce feelings of stress it has lavender lavender clarisade uh, beautiful but i recommend to apply it in the evening when you are you can you can just go to your uh, you know like mm, stress stress -fic free zone and you're just ready to sleep you're gonna smell amazing and then rosemary mint this is very invigorating awakening uh, uh, smell scent uh, really i love to use it in uh, in the summer uh, and they obviously have their shower gels as well but my very favorite is sherry almond this smell is just yeah i love this smell and if you are actually gonna have a shower with this gel and then you put this body lotion you don't need any perfumes I mean you're gonna smell all day long with those natural essential oils and what's what's so unique in it it is sherry almonds so don't think about like those sweet scent of almonds when you put it on first of all you smell bitter almonds um, you smell very bitter almonds and then with, uh, when your body warms up you start to um, you start to uh, smell those and send those sweet sherry's is just so unique and people will be probably asking you oh, what you're wearing here so it's a body balm very nice one so this one and then i have a couple ones of uh the, those ones i'm actually buying them usually in those polish uh polish drug stores and this is the eveline and soraya they are supposed to help you to um, get your body in a better shape and make you slim obviously the claves let's be realistic yeah now no body lotion will make you slim and super sculpted but they help i like to apply this kind of body lotions after my workouts um so i really like this body diet 24 hours and it's supposed to helping you with uh, cellulite and it should make you slim it has caffeine l-carnitine guarana but those kind of body lotions are great as i said after the workout because your muscles are still working so they will be actually um, activating those active ingredients in those beauty products even more so 
definitely recommend any of those. And this one, this one has loads of claims on it. It's a nice liposhock therapy, but a really nice, good product as well. It has this thermal effect to it. So you have to be careful when you're applying it. It will um, make like make you feel warm, make you feel hot. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm always switching them around, but I have always them in my cupboard, usually in my gym bag. Well, now no gym, but in my cupboard, in my bathroom. So this one is really nice. And another one from the same uh, sort of family, the slimming one, is the Caviar Slim Balm from Clarina. This is a very good one. It has the caviar a little uh, bits inside. And actually um, it's great, again, after the workout, or if I don't know if you can see those little red bits inside. So this, those are the, the little, pim, little pieces of caviar. And then really nice. Um, what I like about this one, it has a very light formula. I will be covered in those board lotions tonight. Anyway, I like it. Uh, so um, it has very light formula. So you give it like two, three minutes and it's done. You can put your clothes on and be ready to go. And that's why I also like those, um, those Aveda ones because they are very lightweight. And then uh, what I have here as well, I really like this Evre as well. Uh, one Evre, Evre, how do you say it? I'm always confused. Anyway, uh, this one is that Nutriferm one and it has uh, macadamia oil, guarana and other stuff. And it has also some lipids really nice it will moisture your body but it will also make it uh, quite firm nice light formula again easy to use uh, during the day because it sinks into your skin pretty quickly and then i really have uh, like this one this is actually the one the new ones from me and this is what i got from my sister uh, for uh, for christmas and this one is with the snail mucin don't be afraid of snail mucin because it's very popular in Asian countries to use it. It has very smoothing and um, uh, soothing effects as well. Beautiful product, not only for the body, but also for your face. So I've tried quite a few products with snail mucin or serums, beautiful effects, really get you the skin smooth, hydrated and as well calm. So really nice, really nice products. Um, okay, ah, and the last one I actually like to use because I know lots of girls are into self tanners. I'm not. I am not bothered if I'm pale. I used to be obsessed with sunbeds when I was in my teenage in teenaging years. I know, but let's let's just yeah let's just keep this but anyway no sun anymore for joanna and i really like those um, bronzing serums so they are those self tanning this is the dove one i have it since last year so i don't even know if it's the new uh, packaging but it's really good it's really nice and i really like it just to give me a little bit of glow because it has that shimmer into it as well and just to give you that little bit of glow to your skin and you look a little bit darker it's great before the party or so although i wouldn't apply it on the day of the party because it has that ugly smell of dehydroxy acetone so this is that typical smell of self tanners. So maybe use it like three, four days before uh, the big night out and then on night out, just apply something what smells much nicer. So I would definitely recommend something like this. Okay, so those are our body, uh, body lotions. I mean, those are mine body lotions. Okay, so now we have our body nicely exfoliated, moisturized, and it's ready to go pretty much. But let's not forget about our feet and our hands. And that's what we can do as well with our, let's start with our feet. So um, what I recommend when you're doing your feet is to, um, to actually uh, do your, when you're doing your body scrub, focus on those soles as well. But if that's not enough, I also use myself sometimes those little foot scrubbers. But please be careful with those because uh, you don't want to um, exfoliate too much. You just want to be a little bit like you want to be sensible with them. You just want to exfoliate them, the, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of those soles, not, not too much because then 
even more will grow back. So you have to be careful with those, but that will just get you going between your pedicures. Very good, very nice option. And um, yeah, you can, you can, those you can get at my, uh, at my beauty studio. Actually, I've opened my Facebook online shop. So if you would like to, you can go and check out what I have there. I have some uh, discounts and promotions going on. So Facebook online shop is open. I will be keep adding stuff there, but it's there. Uh, so you would scrub your feet and then you will put a very thick layer of foot cream and uh, when you're using foot creams i'm talking about like really rich and moisturizing nourishing foot creams and i personally i really like this one from aveda and this is the uh, foot relief cream and this one has a sh uh, jojoba and castor oil uh, it has jojoba and castor oil and it actually really nourishes your skin and most of my clients who are using it if you are here just wave to me if you're using this product you can tell me that you can probably say by yourself that you can actually see the difference when you're using this and it really helped lots of my clients uh, it really moisturizes smooths the skin and um, it doesn't irritate the skin too much and it actually sinks in quite quickly so it doesn't leave that um, sticky film on your feet after using so this one is a very good one to use and then uh, that will be with your feet but then we have our hands as well and especially now because we wash our hands constantly we're using those hand sanitizers and they're really drying the skin on our hands out so we really have to make sure that we are taking care of those hands and last week I was showing you how you can do yourself a little hand massage I hope you enjoy it I hope you some of them you've done it um, at home yourself but what I would recommend for your hands it's definitely well first of all I would un invite you for a paraffin deep nourishing treatment but unfortunately I can't show you I can't do this for you now but I will show you a few few good alternatives which you can do at home yourself while we are in this lockdown so I would definitely recommend to uh, recommend you to invest in a very good hand cream and the hand cream which I really like is again that Evre, uh, Evre, Evre, uh, this one the deep moisture one and this is a very affordable product but it's an actual good product and it has um, uh, canola oil which is a fancy name for rapeseed oil basically it has urea which is very highly moisturizing and this one is actually working from drugstore hand creams really nice one i got it again from poland but i will if you are interested i can find you a link on amazon or ebay i'm sure you can buy them there so really nice product it has really nice smell to it as well and then another cream which i would obviously recommend is that hand relief moisturizing cream from aveda this is this is a game changer when it comes to hand creams it is uh, because what I want you to avoid when you're choosing your hand cream, to avoid hand creams based on paraffin or wax uh, or Vaseline, uh, because those creams, they're not going to do anything on you, uh, on you, for your skin. They will be just like creating that film over but they won't be actually uh, they won't be actually nourishing your skin so just waste of money better buy yourself one good hand cream use it and you can actually see the difference than buying like five or six those cheap ones which is they're not gonna they're not gonna do much and this one hand cream uh, hand relief it is based on andiroba oil and andiroba oil is very popular in amazon countries in brazil for example they're using them uh, in for the medicine but antiroba oil is it has loads of like medical research behind but it's a very big antioxidant it has deep moisture it's full of antioxidant vitamin a c and e so it re really moisturizes uh, your skin and it's quite big on anti-aging properties as well so really nice really smoothing for your skin uh, definitely makes a difference and then uh, what you can actually use when you have any spot actually i forgot about this one uh, when you have any 
problem, problems on your skin, like dry patches, eczema, a bit of dermatitis. I'm not saying about severe cases because obviously that's where you should be consulting the doctor. But um, when you have a little bit of dry patches or like very dry elbows or your uh, soles of your feet uh, or, or heels or for example, um, now hands, um, knuckles and stuff, I would definitely recommend the vitamin A uh, cream. This is a very basic cream. I mean, almost everyone in Poland has it together with Nivea cream. And this one is the Retimax 1500. You are buying it at, at the pharmacy in Poland. You can also get it at my, uh, at my uh, beauty studio. Uh, and uh, because I'm always bringing like tons of it for my clients. And this is a very simple cream. And this is where the paraffin actually works because paraffin is actually a carrier for this vitamin A. And what vitamin A does, it really does, uh, it really replenishes your skin. It rebuilds that lipid barrier in your skin. It works as an anti-aging thing. Um, if you want to hear more about vitamin A, I will be talking about those active ingredients tomorrow on Instagram. But this one is a very good one to have always in your cupboard at home. So I really recommend this one. It doesn't have to be Retimax. It can be any vitamin A based cream, but you usually get them at the pharmacy. And then what is a good thing to have as well is to uh, do a little bit of your cuticles around your nails. You can see I've done my little nails for Easter as well. I had more time so I could do that. Normally I don't have them done and I have them covered in, uh, in dye, like henna dye. Anyway, so uh, when you have your nails done and you, you can take care of your cuticles as well. So I am... Um, so basically, I am actually uh, recommending any oils uh, for your cuticles. And I have here the Semilac one. I am working on Semilac um, hybrids, so I, I, I have those. Uh, but I also have this Morgan Taylor, which smells amazing, of mango. Uh, really nice, uh, really nice products to apply on your cuticles and just massage it in, um, massaging in uh, to, your, um, to your cuticles and it really will make the difference. Uh, so we have our hands, we have our feet. But now I was telling you yesterday in my Insta stories that I will show you how to massage your body. So whatever you do with your body, whichever, if you have like, if you do your uh, body scrub or you do your, uh, the massage on the body lotion or anything like this, you want to make sure that you're using proper movements. You don't want, we don't want to waste any time. We want to work on our body and really see the difference with any movement you say you have. So I would, let's say I will take any body lotion you have. This is one from my sister. Sister, if you're watching, thank you very much. I will be presenting this body lotion now. Uh, so you have this uh, body lotion here and you just apply, let's say you would be applying it at home on your body. So you normally go like this and you just wasting this time. Why not to do a proper body uh, body massage for yourself in this time. So how you do the body massage with body? I was showing you the body massage last uh, yes uh, last week. Uh, so with your face, you're using gentle stroke movements. Here it's opposite. You want to use deep moves. You want to go really deep into your skin. Even if you're massaging your hands, go deep try to move this lymph, try to work on those muscles here. And the same as I, when I was showing you dry brushing, you go upwards. So the same when you are using your movements in your massage, you go upwards. And look, I am still massaging this body lotion into my skin, but I am also massaging my muscles straight away in the same time in the same time and then with your with your belly as well for example when you have your belly uh, 
I'm not gonna be undressing myself, but I will try to show you. Just try to work it in, and then like little um, little circles, and you always go with the uh, clockwise with your belly when you're massaging your belly, and then just massage it in properly, and then maybe go like a few like stroke upwards, upwards, upwards. But you really want to go into your body. Don't waste your time. Don't waste this time and just do like oh little strokes and stuff like this try to work deep into your body then when you're massaging your bum cheeks for example try to go high uh, quite deep into it you can even use your wrists and just massage into it the same with your thighs so your bum cheeks and your thighs are those the biggest muscles in your body so you want to really go inside inside and massage this lotion in and the lotion will work better because you are warming up these muscles you open those pores so the lotion goes deeper into your skin into those pores and into your skin and you will see the difference on your body as well so always go back goes uh, go upwards towards your heart area and you will see a massive difference even with applying your single uh, body lotions even if they are not designed to be like firming or sculpting or slimming uh, doesn't matter the movements which you do while you are applying your body lotion that work that work what works actually uh, for the whole um, effect uh, the final effect so I would really recommend whenever you do this body scrub so the body scrub which we've done with our body lotion so you could go with like you know you could be just massaging it in like so but try to work it in work it in big long strokes so your body will will get pink and that's what the effect what you want to which you want to get you want to get this blood flow you moving you want to get those muscles um you want to sort of like unglue those muscles um so basically you want to work it in and then you really will see the difference you will have your body nicely moisturized you will have your body nicely uh, nicely uh, scrubbed but in the same time you will work on the firmness of the body um okay so i think we covered it all today i hope uh, you found it helpful and maybe a little bit inspiring and you will try one of those things at home and please let me know if you tried any of those things which i was um, which i was showing you today if you done any of the scraps which i was showing you today i will be showing you more on my uh, youtube video a uh, few more options and if you do send me some photos because i would love to see uh, uh, which ones you, uh, I would love to see which ones you went for and which ones are your favorite mine is definitely the coffee scrub I love to do this one uh, plus obviously the Aveda radiance polish so that's what I'm using and please let me know if you have any ideas and uh, ask me any questions because I'm here for you and I'm gonna help you survive this lockdown time from the beauty perspective. I will try to keep you entertained, he entertained here every week, but please let me know any questions you would like to ask, anything what you would like to know about beauty world or what you would like to do at home. Uh, that will be really helpful and that will give me some topics to talk about. But next week, uh, I got last week quite a few messages from my clients uh, what they will do about the waxing um, because I have loads of regular clients who are coming every three or four weeks for their waxing uh, and I was answering their, their questions and I was recommending them products and stuff but I thought why not to do a video about home hair removal because the weather is changing, it's much warmer outside, so we will be probably jumping in those shorts, especially with our bodies nicely exfoliated and, uh, and nourished and moisturized. That will be quite easy. Uh, but um, what, uh, what I thought, I, I might do a video where I will be showing you how you can safely remove your hair at home because in ideal world you will come to me i will do your waxing you will be sorted for like four or five weeks uh, or you will do laser treatments yeah uh, if you have a bit darker hair but it's not an ideal world and we have to adapt 
and we will adapt and there are some uh, solutions for it and I will show you how you can do uh, your uh, your hair removal at home using razor so that will be shaving method but in a safe environment when your skin is nicely prepared then you do your shaving properly and then you do the aftercare properly as well so I thought that would be a good video to talk about next week about the hair removal and I think everyone can um, uh, can relate to that I hope let me know if that's something what you, would interest you um, for me to talk about the hair removal at home um, but yes I think I have this one for next week and please let me know if you have any ideas of anything else what you would like me to talk about do your body scrubs moisturize your skin visit my online Facebook shop because that's where you can see loads of things uh, what I what are which are available uh, at my beauty studio I will be keep adding stuff because it takes me a bit and I will be uploading new YouTube video about my Sunday self-care um, so you can see even more how I'm applying those products how I'm mixing them so it will give you an idea what my Sunday self-care routine looks like and it can serve you as an example Thank you very much. Again, I hope you enjoyed this Easter time. As I know, this is not what we would imagine it to be. And uh, I hope you all stay home and uh, you still found some happiness in even those little moments. And I know I did with my boys. We really enjoyed it. And uh, I wish you all the best and I will see you next week. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Thanks. Bye. Am I finishing?